best way to start your day is with KJ and Kirby. I know, it's awesome. On My 96. Settle down, settle down. Settle down, everybody. That's what I was saying yesterday on social media. Settle down about the uh, safe grad cancellation at uh, Hat High. Settle down. Should we talk about it? Let's talk about it right now on Free Speech Friday. Okay, let me, okay, let, let's give a little bit of background. Okay. And let's do a contrast. Okay. Between Kirby's style of grad. Right. And the style that happens literally everywhere outside of Alberta. Okay. Your style of grad. Tell me about it. Uh, graduation. I was 17 years old at the time. Uh, we had our ceremony. And then later that night, uh, the parents had gotten together and planned a safe grad. So we were taken on buses uh, and we were taken to a location that we had no idea where it was uh, outside of Drayton Valley. And uh, there we had a DJ, we had outhouses to go to the washroom, uh, and we were allowed to bring um, our own booze. And most wait, wait, of wait, us. Wait, wait, wait. How did you get the booze? Uh, mo- most of us got it uh, from our parents because oh, okay. they were volunteers. Sorry. Gotcha. Um, and a number of parents were chaperones at the event. Uh, we had a first aid booth there as well in case anybody did anything stupid and hurt themselves. Um, they required us to eat pizza prior to being able to drink our alcoholic beverages. Um, so my parents... Howard and Don were there handing out pizza to everybody uh, so that we had a nice full stomach before we started partying. Uh, and it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Uh, there was two buses that went out. One was, I think, at like 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. And the other was at like 4. And then uh, we would go home. Okay. Yeah. Uh, good time, though. You enjoyed it? A lot of fun. This stuff memories are made of, right? Yeah. I mean, that so was, drunk. That's how so I. Drunk. That's how I got. That's how I, you know, left oh. Drayton Valley on a good note. Oh, we got so slow. Lost. It was great. Yeah, it was great. Right. Uh, uh, it, my style, okay, we we had, we called it dry grad, or some people call it chem-free grad. Uh, and it was pretty much what happens every outside of Alberta now. Okay, so, again, like you say, parent committee gets together. Mm-hmm. They sit down and they say, all right, look, there's going to be a lot of teens that are going to want to drink their flipping faces off mm-hmm. right tonight. So it, the onus is on us now, as parents, the parent committee, to make this... The greatest night of our kids' lives, okay? We want to make the biggest, best, most incredible, most fun party. We want to make it so that the the, the decision will be this. Hey, do we want to go to that unbelievably awesome party or do we want to go get drunk? Let's do it. Let's go to the awesome party. And so they had it in the uh, in the in the uh, WHL arena, uh, in in Swift Current there. And there was, I mean, there was absolutely everything. There was huge TVs. There was a dance. There was a huge video game station. There was the sumo thing. There was five local restaurants that set, were set up there, giving all their food away for free. Uh, uh, non-alcoholic cocktails. Uh, there was, I mean, it was, they, 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 I think they brought in, they brought in a pretty decent band. I forget who it was, but I mean, they were really good. Uh, and so they made it an event that was completely safe. It was alcohol free. If there's anyone that even smelled of alcohol at the event, unfortunately, you know, they, they had to go home or whatever. And so, uh, and the turnout for my grad class of 300 and some grads was somewhere in the neighborhood of about 95%. At this thing, it was an incredible success. Very safe. Nobody got hurt. Nobody got nobody got uh, you know taken home in an ambulance or or worse, whatever. Uh, and so that is a chem free grad. Again, it's, nobody got hurt in my grad either. It's, let's make it the best party so that the alternative of getting drunk and who knows what just it 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 we want to make this so much better. Okay, so that's the idea, and. There is that party happening with Hat High. And I don't know what percentage of kids are going to be going to that, but there are some. And by the sounds of it, whom I'm talking to, it sounds like it's going to be a pretty good time. It's going to be a great time. Uh, And it's fully above board. Nothing illegal about it. And uh, that's going on. Sadly, here's the sad part is, I mean, all the food, all the like everything is ordered for that. And so they've had to cut it off, and that's done. And uh, in, in talking to uh, some of the parents on that committee, they're like, you know what? Like, we, we can't make it any bigger. Like, we, we're done. Like, we've cut it off. And so for anyone that are, that's trying to get into this, I'm sorry. We can't help. It's done. So that's the dilemma right now. 
Okay, so we've got a situation where the AGLC and from what I'm being told by someone in the know that uh, that, uh, that claims to have been on the on the uh, committee, uh, the RCMP shut it down as well. They're saying that uh, if this goes ahead, uh, you could be looking at up to ten thousand dollars fine uh, and two to five years uh, in prison uh, for each parent that serves alcohol to minors. And so that's where we're at right now, and. I, I'm seeing a lot of people up in arms, and I'm hearing the argument that they're gonna party anyway. Right. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna drink anyway, so we might as well just give them all the booze they want. I think it's safe to say that you obviously are on the side of no safe well, grad. Safe grad is a terrible idea. I'm not, I'm not, I, hey, I, I mean, I realized it was brought in in 1983 because there were some kids that were killed in, in automobile accidents. I think we've come a long way in educating on the dangers of drinking and driving since then. I believe we have. Right. Um, it, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm against this or that. I'm just saying uh, that it's, it's unbelievable that for the past 30 years, you've had a situation where... The blind eye was turned to, quite frankly, the law. You know, like there's even been police that have been at these at these safe grad parties. Yeah, we had we had the RCMP at our grad. I like I, come okay. check on everything. Let me. Okay, you know what? Okay, um, since when is it okay for you or me to pick and choose which laws we conveniently follow? Okay, like okay, I. You know what? I find speeding laws to be incredibly annoying and kind of a pain in my ass. You know what I mean? So I, pr- I probably shouldn't follow them because I'm going to speed anyway. So I shouldn't have to follow them, you know, when, when I don't feel like it. Okay. I see where you're going with this. I, I understand you feel that way, okay? But according to social media, I mean, there are a lot of parents that are very upset about you know, this changing, okay? Because, you know, the, the, I, I'm, I'm just going to speak uh, about my experience. Like I said, I was 17, clearly underage. The legal drinking age in Alberta is 18. And I grew up in a small town, and I understand that small towns are a lot different than some cities in, in this province. I get that. In Drayton Valley, much different. My goodness, I was in the bar at 16. I'm not proud of that, but that's just how I grew up. That's just Drayton Valley culture. And so when it came to safe grad, I mean, by then, we most of us had already had had drinks, and, and, and our parents, and most of them were in our garage with our parents' home. You know what I mean? Like, it was just, that was the culture that I grew up in. Uh, do I condone underage drinking? Uh, no. I, 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 I'm very torn on that. In this safe grad, okay? I'm just going to speak on behalf of these grade 12 students that are about to graduate and not have a safe grad, okay? They've worked their ass off <laughs> in school. So, you know, for one party where there are parent volunteers and there are, you know, safety procedures in place, supervision, a lot of them have ID bracelets so that, you know, they go home with their parents and, and you know, I don't know how that all works. They're fed before, they dr- before they're allowed to drink. Okay. So there's, there's no, you know, chance that they're going to be drinking on an empty stomach and get sick. Uh, and, and, the, and the fact of the matter is they're going to go out regardless. So do you want all these, you know, students who can't get into drinking establishments to go find somewhere to go drink in private where there is no parent supervision, where they're most, most likely inclined to maybe make that stupid decision to drink and drive? I mean, this is a safe environment. It's called a safe grad for a reason. And yes, I guess they are breaking the law, having parents allow children under the age of, of 18 to drink. But for God's sakes, that's Alberta culture for you. And I understand. When, when did everything have to go? Why did they have to change everything all of a sudden? I get it. You know, like now they're saying like, oh, safe grads, no more. And, and now the, 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 we're changing the bathrooms and the schools. And like, I just don't understand why all these things are changing. <laughs> like I just and, and I'm not saying I'm a prude and, and I'm like, why does everything have to change? It's just I don't understand why all of a sudden we become so offended. Why is our culture so offended by everything? I just don't understand that. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, we're talking about the uh, safe grad versus camp free grad debate that's going on right now. Text us. What's on your mind? 403-458-3961. There's still a few places that this uh, discussion can go, and maybe we'll save that for a little later on this morning. But I want to hear from you guys right now. Text us at 458-3961 or call us at 548-8296. I'm of the opinion that... Uh, it, just wait a few more months until drinking is legal. Is that, is that going to kill you? Is that going to hurt you? You know, I, I, anyways, uh, turning a blind eye to laws that you don't feel should apply to you. That's a pretty bre- a bad precedent to set. To, to a set. That's, that's one of my points. It's one party. It's their graduation. It's one time a year All right. that you have the chance to be supervised while drinking. You're not supervised like that in a bar. <laughs> can, I, can, I tell you, can I tell you the interesting thing that, that uh, one of the parents said to me yesterday, okay, is we were, we were going to serve them drinks at the party. But it's okay because it's a safe environment. Uh, some of the parent volunteers even have their pro serve. Last time I checked, there's a big section in pro serve about not serving minors. There's a big section in there. So if you've got your pro serve, you know what? You just have these. the The reason these parents are becoming so uh, upset is because they see it too. They see that their ki- their kid has has you know they pass their diplomas. They're yeah. about to enter you know the adult world, mm-hmm. and they're just giving them that one chance to party. And they're there. Like God, my parents were passing me Palm Bays for God's sakes at my safe grad, <laughs> and they also drove my drunk butt home. So you know. Ugh, I don't know. I just don't understand why all of a sudden this has to. And I just feel for those grads, you know, hat high. I feel for you. More on this topic coming up all show long today. We'll continue on, though. If you got something to add to it, feel free by all means here. The KG and Kirby Show Live.